support for peer-to-peer -peer connectivity. And this is especially great for peer-to-peer -peer games. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have a few kids in the back seat of the car, and they each have their own iPhone or iPod Touch, and they'd like to play backgammon against each other. With the APIs now built in to iPhone 3.0, when you touch, say, a multiplayer button, it'll bring up a standard system panel, which finds all the other iPhones and iPod Touches in that area that are currently playing that game. You can choose who you'd like to play against. It automatically sends a request to them. When they accept it, it forms an IP connection, and the game is off and running peer-to-peer. -peer. So peer-to-peer -peer connectivity. What we provide here is automatic discovery. We'll automatically discover other applications that are running around you in your proximity. We do it all wirelessly over Bluetooth. So you don't need to join a Wi-Fi network. There doesn't need to be a Wi-Fi network. It's all done wirelessly. In addition, there's no pairing. This is all completely seamless, both for the developer and for the end user. It's seamless. We use Bonjour as the technology to discover what applications are running and who wants to play. And this isn't just for games. Now, we think this is great for games, and it'll unlock a lot of peer-to-peer -peer games. But this works for any peer-to-peer -peer application. So let's say you're a salesperson, and you're at a, a sales meeting for your company. And you'd love to give someone a sales lead, send them a contact. Well, your company could build an application easily using this API that will automatically find your colleague's phone make that connection, allow you to share that contact, walk away, you're done. So peer-to-peer -peer connectivity, we think it's going to be great in the iPhone 3 SDK. Next, accessories. We have this thriving ecosystem for accessories. There are thousands of developers <laughs> building thousands and thousands of accessories that work great with iPods, and with iPhones. Right. Here's one of the more popular ones, a speaker. And with a speaker, you can plug your iPhone right into it and now listen to your music right over that speaker. Well, with the iPhone 3.0 SDK, we're going to take this support to the next level. We're going to enable accessory developers to build custom applications that talk right to the accessory. So in this example, the speaker manufacturer could build an application, an equalizer application, that is actually controlling directly the hardware equalizer of the speaker. So here's another example, an FM transmitter. FM transmitters are great if you uh, have, say, a car that doesn't have a built-in iPod connector. And what they do is they allow you to stream your music from your iPhone over uh, FM right to your car stereo. Well, with iPhone 3.0, the developer can build a custom application that pairs up with this accessory, with that FM transmitter, and automatically finds the optimal FM station over which to broadcast, tunes it in automatically, and now you're listening to your music. Now, here's another class of applications we think are going to be really interesting. And that are met, those are medical devices. You could have, say, a blood pressure cuff and write a custom application now which takes your blood pressure. You could take it, it could record it over time, it can chart it, and if there's an issue or a, you know, a downward trend that you're worried about, it could optionally have a button to send your blood pressure history to your doctor, to your healthcare professional. So what we're doing is we're enabling developers now to take more advantage of accessories, writing custom applications that can talk directly to these accessories. They talk to the accessories over the dock connector, and now also wirelessly over Bluetooth. We support all the standard built-in protocols. So these are things like playing music and pausing music, getting album artwork. In addition, you can build your own custom protocols if you want. So you have all the power you need to build an accessory, build a custom application to take the best advantage of that, 
and talk to that accessory in whatever way you need to to make it great. And that's what we're doing for accessories. Next, maps. Now we've worked with Google to build an incredible maps application into the iPhone. And we've had developers who've come to us and said, you know, I'd love to embed a map into my application. And some developers have gone out and licensed tiles themselves and already done this. But they keep coming back to us asking us to build something that feels natural, a Cocoa Touch control that can wrap our maps control and put it into their application. And that's exactly what we're doing with iPhone 3.0. We're taking the heart of the Maps application and making it a public API so developers can now embed that map right in their app. Here's an example. Let's say you have a concierge application. Right up there now is the public Maps API embedded, a control embedded right in there. Now this really is the heart of our map application. And that means you have things like pinch and zoom. It supports satellite view and hybrid view and standard map view. You can even add your own custom annotations right on top of the map. You can add your own location in there, and it'll track your location based on GPS if you're on an iPhone 3G, and Wi-Fi and cell tower triangulation. And you can even reverse geocode your location. So a maps control using that Google Map service that you can now embed directly into your application. We think this is going to be really useful. We know a lot of developers out there that would love to embed this Google Map service right in their app. Now, there is one more thing we're doing with Maps. And that is, we're enabling developers to use core location as the basis of turn-by-turn -turn direction applications. So core location gives you your location uh, on an iPhone 3G with GPS, also with Wi-Fi and cell tower triangulation. And now you can build a turn-by-turn -turn direction using that real-time location from core location. Now there is one catch. It is bring your own maps. Due to licensing, we cannot pass on the right to use the built-in map tiles for turn by turn. Now, there are already a lot of developers out there who either own their own map tiles or have licensed them to use with turn by turn. And so for all of you, you'll now be able to use and create turn by turn direction applications for the iPhone. Next, push notification. 